Surrounded by lush mountains and flowing rivers, Ningxia, known officially as the Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region, or NHAR, is one of the cradles of Chinese civilization. It borders Gansu Province to the south, Shanxi Province to the east, and Inner Mongolia to the north. Located in the middle and upper reaches of the Yellow River in the northwestern part of the country, the region boasts a refreshing watery landscape as well as a magnificent desert scene. Its ecosystem, though diverse, is one of the least studied areas in the world. Ningxia has a total population of 6.13 million and hosts the largest Hui ethnic community in China. Because of this, it is regarded as the Islamic province of China. As the capital of Ningxia, Yinchuan is both a historically and culturally vibrant city. Continuously rising in its innovations and aptly nicknamed the Phoenix City, it borders the Yellow River to the east and the Helen Mountains to the west. From another aspect, and because of its geographic position, it has also been referred to as the Lake City in the Frontier Region. The Western Xia Imperial Tombs are a popular tourist attraction in Ningxia and a key cultural monument under state protection. It is one of the largest and best preserved imperial cemeteries in all of China, as numerous emperors of the Western Xia dynasty are buried there. Since 1972, nine imperial tombs and 253 lesser tombs have been unearthed which are said to be as grand as the Ming tombs found in Beijing. And with a total area of more than 50 square kilometers, its layout is unique as it is patterned after the celestial bodies of the night sky. The Helen Mountains, frequently called the Alashan Mountains, are an isolated desert mountain range which stretch over 250 kilometers in length. And at the eastern foot of the mountains, archaeologists have discovered thousands of ancient rock carvings. These images depict daily rituals such as hunting, pasturing, dancing, mating rituals, battle, and even sacrifice. According to research, these paintings were made during the spring and autumn period, 770 to 476 BC, to the Western Xia Dynasty in the year 1038 to 1227, by folk artists of northern nomadic tribes. Fifty-six kilometers from Yinchuan, still close to the Helen Mountains, is the oasis of Shahu. Shahu, or Sand Lake, covers about 22 square kilometers of desert and 45 square kilometers of lakes. Sand Lake, also referred to as Eden of the Northern Wastes, is one of the best places for bird watching in all of China. It is home to 198 species and over 1 million migratory birds. Zongwei City is located in the west of the Ningxia region bordered by Gansu province to the west and Inner Mongolia to the north. It is also the location of the beginning of the northern bend in the Yellow River, which produces the Ordos Loop. Located 20 kilometers west of downtown Zongwei, Shapoto is a 2,000-meter long and 100-meter high sand mound. It lies on the north bank of the Yellow River, 
where it crosses the southeastern border of the Tengger Desert. Shapoto Tourism Area is regarded as one of the five most beautiful deserts in China and is widely recognized as the capital of sand. Kingtongsia Yellow River Grand Canyon Scenic Spot, located in Kingtongsia Town, is a national scenic spot formed primarily by limestone and sand shale. The canyon is more than 10 kilometers long, 50 to 100 meters wide, and features 30 meter high cliffs on both sides. It reflects the history of its region's development and the budding relationship between irrigation and society. As Ningxia boasts a flourishing Islam community, one of its foremost constructs is the Hui Mosque. Still found within its capital city, and visited by hundreds, if not thousands each day, Ningxia's Na Jiahui is one of China's oldest surviving mosques. Ganzu Zhangye National Geopark is located in the Sunan and Linzai counties within the prefecture-level city of Zhangye. <laughs> Zhangye Danxia is known for the unusual color of its rocks, which are smooth, sharp, and several hundred meters tall. They are a result of millions of years of weathering and water erosion coupled with the influences brought about by the region's special geological structure, climate change, and wind power. Beneath the sunlight, the endless colorful hills form a sea of fire. Some of the hills present rock stripes in a rainbow of color, appearing like ribbons fluttering in the desert. A mystical legend recounts the planning involved in constructing the Jiayuguan Fortress. According to legend, while the pass was being planned, the official in charge asked the designer to estimate the exact number of bricks required to create it. And the designer replied with a number, 99,999. Confused, the official questioned his judgment and so the designer added one more brick. When Jiayuguan was finished, however, as he estimated, there was a single brick left over. This brick was then placed loosely upon one of the gates where it remains today. Among the passes along the Great Wall, Jiayuguan remains the most intact surviving military building. Also known as the first greatest pass under heaven, it has a somewhat fearsome reputation as Chinese people who were banished in the past were ordered to leave through Jiayuguan for the West, the vast majority never to be heard from again. The Mingxia Mountain, or Echoing Sand Mountain, derives its name from a natural phenomenon in which its sand roars like thunder as travelers slide down its slopes. Hi. 
The mountain is five kilometers away from the city of Dunhuang. Seen from afar, the mountain appears to be in the shape of a golden dragon winding its way across the horizon. Crescent Lake, or Ye Yakwan, as its name implies, surrounds the Mingsha Mountain in a half-moon shape, as if cradling the base in place. It extends for approximately 100 meters and in spite of the area's conditions has never dried up. The Mogao Caves, or Mogao Grottoes on the other hand, regarded as the largest Buddhist cave with the most abundant cultural relics in the world, is known for a great number of murals and a variety of vivid statues. It is a palace of art which blends the peculiar with the spectacular. The Flaming Mountains or Huoyan Shan is located in the north of Turpan in China's northwest Xinjiang region. It was made popular by the classical Chinese novel Journey to the West, which has appeared in popular culture as well. The book follows the travels of the Monkey King, who stirred up trouble in heaven by destroying an oven used to create immortal pills. Legend has it that charcoals fell from the sky to where the flaming mountains now lie, which explains why the landform is hot throughout the year. Grape Valley, or Tuyu Valley, is a paradise of 543 acres covered in layer upon layer of grapes. About 13 varieties of grapes are cultivated on this land. The valley also sustains other fruits, such as peaches, apricots, apples, and pomegranates. The water, which replenishes the valley, comes from the melting snow of the Tian Shan Mountains. And within the valley is a small village called Tuyok, about 70 kilometers west of Turpan. Life in this settlement has barely changed over the centuries. From the simple yet sturdy mud brick houses, to the lack of cars, and excessively loud noises common to urbanized cities around the world. The people of Tuyok have preserved their culture by keenly sticking to the basics. <laughs> Emin Minaret, or Sugong Ta, is the largest extant old tower in Xinjiang and the only Islamic tower among the hundred famous towers in China. Standing two kilometers east of Turpan, the structure was built in 1777 in honor of the heroic Turpan general Emin Koja. He was an outstanding patriot who defended the unification of China throughout his life. The historical background of Emin Minaret is underlined by its architectural significance. The 
44 meter high minaret has no stories. From its base, it tapers into an Islamic dome. At its center is a brick piled pillar with 72 steps spiraling gently to the top. The largest, oldest, and best preserved earthen city in the world, the ancient city of Jiaohe, is 1,650 meters by 300 meters, with an area of 220,000 square meters. It was included in the World Heritage List in June 2014. The ancient city was the capital of the former Cheshi state and, according to historical records, was home to 700 households, 6,500 residents, and 865 soldiers. Kerez systems are the crystallization of the ancient people's diligence and intelligence, perhaps showcasing how they were well before their time. At its peak, this irrigation system exceeded 5,000 kilometers and was also referred to as the Underground Great Wall. Perez are delicate irrigation systems made up of vertical wells, underground canals, above-ground canals, and small reservoirs. The Heavenly Lake, or Tianqi, is nestled in the middle of Bogda Peak, 110 kilometers east of Urumqi. It is said that the West Queen, Si Wang Mu, entertained King Mu of the Western Zhou Dynasty here. The Queen fell madly in love with the King, asking him in a poem if he would return to her as long as he was able. The King had then promised that he would, after leading his people to a prosperous life. Unfortunately, this promise was never kept and is said to explain why the placid lake and silent mountains surrounding it continue to bear witness to the West Queen's lovesickness. <laughs> Shenjiang International Grand Bazaar in Urumqi is the biggest bazaar in the world covering a wide area of 39,888 square meters. Found at the bazaar are over 3,000 booths which peddle garments, musical instruments, potteries, jewelry, nuts, fruits, and carpets. Other than shopping, Visitors may also attend the banquet and performance theater. <laughs> Having hosted the China Arab States Conference in 2017, Ningxia showcases a deep history of cooperation and cultural exchange between both nations. The renowned Silk Road has a long tradition of acting as an international trading hub and is likewise an ethnic minority area. Ningxia plays an important role in bridging China, Central Asia and West Asia relations. As it blooms in diversity, it is with this hope that Ningxia continues to thrive inviting visitors from all over the world to marvel at its steady and gradual development.